Hurricane Sandy was historically disastrous, but this storm may have a silver lining. Climate change is back on the agenda. As the discussion heats up, a controversial new approach will enter the debate. Geoengineering. Is it science fiction or a way to save the planet? That's today's BFD. Green Food Daily. Geoengineering is all about using technology to change the Earth's climate. So what if the planet gets too hot? Let's just block out the sun. Too much carbon in the atmosphere? Let's soak it up with a gigantic carbon sponge. Come on, isn't the Earth sponge worthy? Supporters claim that geoengineering isn't a silver bullet, but rather one of many things we can do to battle climate change. Opponents see it as an attempt to play God. They fear the consequences of tinkering with the climate. Also, some worry geoengineering is a smokescreen for big oil. By supporting some of these pie-in-the-sky proposals, they can claim they're addressing the problems of climate change. You be the judge. Here are a few of the more compelling geoengineering concepts currently in play. Cloud brightening. Low clouds tend to be warm and reflective, especially when the cloud is white. By seeding the clouds, scientists believe we decrease sea temperatures and reflect more of the sun's rays back into space. Opponents of cloud brightening fear the unintended consequences. Seeding clouds in the Atlantic could reduce rainfall in the Amazon basin, potentially causing a major environmental disaster. The Solar Shield This plan calls for the construction of a 100,000 square mile solar shield made from trillions of lenses that would deflect the sun's rays. Basically, we'd fly a bunch of mirrors into space and leave them there like a planetary pair of Ray-Bans. Sounds cool, right? But check the price tag. $350 trillion. Uh, see, now I was only looking to spend about $100 trillion. Damn. Damning the Mediterranean Sea. Sounds like a fun weekend project, huh? But there are plans at work for building a giant hydroelectric dam across the Strait of Gibraltar. Proponents claim it would generate a ton of emission-free electricity and would open up parts of the Adriatic Sea for settlement and farming. Opponents claim it could endanger Europe's climate, North Africa's agriculture, and cost trillions of dollars. You know, the usual arguments against building a nine-mile-long dam. Look, when it comes to climate change, everything should be on the table, including good old American ingenuity. Some of these ideas seem a little wild-eyed, but why rule anything out? What do you think? Is this playing God with the environment? Or should we take a more practical, all-hands-on-deck approach to battling global warming? Unless you're a mad scientist, you're probably not going to be able to solve climate change all on your own. However, you can incorporate some actions into your daily life to make the world a little bit greener. Simple things like driving less, recycling more, and unplugging the sharper image foot massager when you're done with it. Check out all the tips at climatecrisis.net. I'm Danny Knights. Thanks for watching BFD and be sure to subscribe.